Stage two of the 84th Tour of Luxembourg was on paper the easiest of the lot. Still just over 2,000 metres of climbing at 155 kilometres, joining Junglinster and Schifflange. Two early categorised climbs in the first half of the stage. Three intermediate sprints at this one as well, totaling 19 bonus seconds if you include the finish. And three finishing laps in and around Schifflange, an expected bun sprint, but would everybody make it? Mathieu von der Poel was in the leader's jersey after having taken the opening stage ahead of Christophe Laporte. He was in the points classification jersey. Finn Fischer Black, the best young rider, and Pepin Reindering, the king of the mountains. And at the start of the day, he was away in the breakaway with Alexandre Kess, also there for a second day in succession. Both climbs were won by Reindering, who extended his lead by a further eight points and would be guaranteed the King of the Mountains jersey at the end of the day. He went back to the peloton. Kess stayed out in the front, but with just over two minutes and 75 kilometers to go, it was advantage peloton. The threat of crosswinds, the twists and turns on the way into the finishing circuit, meant that with a gap of a minute and a half with 40 k's to go, Kess had no hope of staying out front. He would be caught around 30 kilometers from the finish, just as the riders were on their way into the finishing laps. There were nerves of plenty in the peloton, though, and there was already disappointment for Lidl Trek as Matthias Skelmoser had crashed out early in the day, the former winner of the race and one of the pre-race GC favourites out of the game. His team were looking to support Mars Pedersen for a stage win, but that was becoming a little bit more complicated. Victor Verquigui went out on the attack. And he was soon to be joined again by Pepin Brenderich. Not content with two days in the breakaway, he wanted a stage win as well. They managed to get themselves together, but with just over 12 kilometers remaining, the advantage was just over 20 seconds. Needle Trek controlled beautifully. First it was Bernard, then Gebre Xavier. Simmons did a job as well. Alex Kirsch would be the last man for Mars Pearson. Reinering would be the last man standing. He'd go on to the final climb. Not classified this one, but enough to make it difficult for those behind to catch him. But it was a huge acceleration from behind that meant that he would be caught with 4Ks to go. Lidl then still took control. Gebre Xavier was trying to bring this one back. And when it went into the final kilometre, it was all about Alex Kirsch. He led out Mars Pedersen. On his wheel, after fighting for it, was Mathieu von der Poel. Behind was Robin Froidevaux. Also there, Christophe Laporte. They started in that order, they would finish in that order. Pedersen winning, second for Mars Pedersen. And behind, it will be Robin Froidevaux from Tudor Pro Cycling. A 12th victory of the season for Pedersen. A win for Lidl Trek on the day that their GC leader crashed out. And in the opening two stages, a current world champion and a former world champion, the winner. That current world champion, Fonda Paul, in his last week in the jersey before he has to defend it, sprinting beautifully, he was second place. That meant he retained the overall general classification lead. A victory, though, to Mars Pillerson. Fonda Paul, Froidevaux, Laporte, and Fred Wright finishing in fifth place. Pearson on the podium and happy with his result. His team will now surely be about chasing stages for the rest of the week. In the GC, it's a 10 second lead for Fonda Paul over Laporte. Korn is up to third. Bonus second on the day means that here she gets a little closer and Idar Anderson is fifth. He, by the way, is the brand new youth leader. Fonda Paul is the man in charge overall. But a big test, in fact, the biggest in terms of climbing. Nigh on 4,000 metres of climbing for stage three. Begins in Rosport, and there are lots of little loops. There's plenty of bumps, lefts, rights. It's Luxembourg racing at its very best. 201 kilometres as well, and back loaded with climbs towards the end too. 
The race finishes in Dikir. And take a look at that. That's a profile that lends itself to attacks, if you ever saw one. As always, join us for the coverage on Eurosport, Discovery Plus and Max if you're watching in the USA.